Thank you. Ah, oh. oh, look at your face. You're happy. Oh, thank you to Georgia. <laughs> She's, um, she saved you? Yeah, look, it's, it's quite a... Um, uh, and it, it's really heady dancing, and it gets in your head. And if I'm in my head, I can't dance well. So she spends a lot of time getting me out of my head. Thank you. <laughs> We'd like some of that too, if you could give it to us. We all need that. Yeah. Let's talk about your charity for a moment. Yeah. Love your sister. You've ridden a unicycle across Australia. Yeah. You put five, you've got five cent pieces in the shape of a heart that could be seen from space. It was the twinkliest love heart the world has ever seen, yes. And now you're dancing. Yeah. Um, Fifty thousand dollars, which is what you get if you get the big silver trophy, uh -huh. go a long way. Yeah, yeah, that'd pay for a cancer research assistant for eight months. Uh, that, yeah. Look, uh, I promised, uh, I promised my sister, and I promised you guys and the country at large that I'd raise ten million dollars when my sister got sick. Uh, I promised that. I will keep my word. I'm at nine point one. My sister didn't live to see me keep the promise, but I'm hoping I can tango to ten. Wonderful words. And I hope I don't ruin them by saying that uh, I hope your nether regions aren't suffering with the dancing in the same way I know they did when you rode your unicycle across Australia. Uh, these days the kiwi, fr kiwi fruits are fine, darling. <laughs> I just thought I'd check. All right, we're going to start with Shana. What did you make of the rumba? Oh, gosh. You know, one of my favourite things is something that our audience at home don't get to see, and that is the moment right before you two dance where we get to see the beautiful friendship and bond that you have formed over nine weeks of dancing, of triumph and adversity, of letting each other in to tell these stories. And what we saw tonight was you come from the last time that you did a rumba where it, it broke you a little bit on the inside and together you overcame that and came out with your performance of the season for me. Now, not only was I, I mesmerized and smiling and in that love story of what you were doing, you had straight legs. <laughs> you had straight legs. Did you hear that <laughs> I saw it. I didn't hear it. I saw it. Legs. Oh, it, was, it was a really beautiful rumba. And again, not the most complicated routine, but beautifully executed, wonderful storytelling. And you two as a team, it's just darling to watch. Thank you. Oh, bless. You look very emotional hearing that. Uh, and now there's Craig. I think Tell it me is... improved, Craig. No, not yet. Oh. Uh, it's one of the most unnatural dancers for a man to actually learn. You've got to have straight legs. You've got to use your hips yeah. in a weird and strange, bizarre way. Yeah. And that takes many, many years of training. Uh, and I felt it looked a little bit unnatural. I felt like you were going through the motions of what you were taught rather than feeling it entirely, but I can't really expect that. And that's why you generally dance pedestrian, because you can tell a story yeah. through your own natural body. However, uh, some of the transitions were a little bit wobbly as well, but I think this is the most improved that I've seen you from literally nothing in this particular dance to actually creating something that was a believable rumba. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what Tristan thought of your straight legs. <laughs> um, there's such a huge difference in your presentation of everything now. And um, I feel like I can see it in your... I, I feel like I see a completely different, confident person when you're moving. I can see, I can see it ticking over in your head of, of the improvements that you want to make. And I feel, without knowing you well, but I, I feel like it makes you a happier person. I, I, I can see you kind of... Um, I, I, can, I can see the nervousness before you start, and then I can see the calm as soon as you take George's hand. Um, of course, your, your legs were a hundred times better. Of course yeah. they were. No but, pedestrian um, either. No, no pedestrian, no. But like I said, it's just it's, it's kind of heartwarming when I, when I see you improve, and I see you understand that you are improving and how much it affects you as well as your partner, as well as us, as well as everyone watching you. It's, it's such a beautiful thing to see. It really is. Mental health aside, I, I, you're, you're such an advocate for it, and I am such an advocate for you. I think you are superb. Feeling good? I feel amazing. I reckon you did a higher score than last time. Head on up.